About a week ago, a guy comes up to me and he said, you're turning pens, and I said, yes. And uh, he said, well, I've got some willow. And uh, I'm thinking to myself, well, willow, when I think of willow, I think of those spindly things that grow along by a creek bank. They look like car antennas, and they're maybe about as round as my thumb. So I didn't want to hurt his feelings, so I acted all interested in everything. And then yesterday, he actually gives it to me. Well, then it all of a sudden hit me. Oh, yeah, a willow tree, you know, like a weeping willow. So this is a branch off a willow tree. Now, what I'm noticing uh, with this is that there's a lot of knots. All over the place, there's knots. And generally, when you have a knot, you have some really interesting grain inside there. And uh, as long as it's not rotten. Now, this thing is pretty light, so it's probably been dead for a long time. Uh, now, I know in the last video, I did talk about some really nice burl that was coming. It actually came this morning. Uh, but I'm going to uh, hang on to this, and I want to cut this open and see what I got. You know, uh, I'm, I'm sorry, it's just the way I am. I'm curious. <laughs> So, let's cut this open and see what we can get out of it. Well, if I trim these down right, I should be able to get five, maybe six blanks out of this. And there is one thing, though, that has surprised me, and that is how damp they feel in the center. And I guess that means that I'm going to have to dry them out, and they're probably going to end up cracking on me. And I'm probably going to have to do the cactus juice thing again. But that's not so bad, because it's kind of fun. You know, I'd never done this before, and I was wondering if it was going to work or not. But as you're going to see, it actually works. I set my fence to just a little over three quarters of an inch, and that should give me blanks just about the right size. I've done this before with green Manitoba maple, and it worked out pretty good. However, this is a different wood, and I'm not going to know until the morning. Oh, by the way, don't go by that clock on the stove. It hasn't worked for years. <laughs> 